So first things first, we've got this MG midget here and I've got to balance this crank assembly. So it's been balanced before. You can see they've got quite an extensive amount of holes in that clutch cover, which does actually look quite new. Flywheel's been refaced already, so I don't need to do that. And you can see sort of there, it has, yeah, it's definitely been balanced, had quite a lot of material taken off. So we'll go and get that up on the balancer and see what it's like. I mean, ideally it should be spot on, but you, you never know. So I've got the uh, midget crank on the balancer here. And as you can see, it's about 20 out, although it is supposedly already balanced. So whether somebody sort of made a bit of an error or what, I don't know, but we're gonna have to get that balanced again. We'll check the rear end. The rear end is quite good. Still a little bit out, but you know, sort of about five out, between five and 10. So yeah, we'll get that balance and then we'll check the front pulley, flywheel and clutch as well. So if I just find the angle at which it's out, which is 10 degrees, stop the machine, find 10 degrees on here, lock that, and then, so it needs to be taken out of here on this plane. So, you can see there, just took a little bit off. Um, so we'll spin that and check it. Brought it down to about five, between five and 10. It's wandering a little bit. It'll settle down in a minute. Um, that's at about 13 now. So that's at zero now, which is ideal. So now we'll do the rear end of the crank and then we'll go and put the front pulley on. So I've balanced the front pulley now. Flywheel and clutch is supposed to have been balanced. That isn't really good enough on the flywheel. It's sort of 20 out, which isn't loads, but considering it's supposed to have been balanced, it's not ideal. Not really sure why that should, that should be balanced, really. I don't know why it isn't. Unless they've, had, unless they've got a less sensitive machine. So I'm going to have to sort that out and see what it's like, see, see what the clutch is like. I'm interested to see what that clutch is like, really, because obviously, I've shown you already that the amount of holes in it, you'd hope that'd be in balance. So, other than the crank balance, um, I've just finished the transit, finished that on Friday, so it's all ready to go. Uh, the Series 1 sat there as well, waiting to go. And at some point today, should be getting some rings for this one. And I've just got to check the ring gaps. And then that one's good to go. And over here we've got, this is very special. This is Paul Dove's gearbox for his Fiesta, his rally car. Um, he's finally got it out and he's going to have it rebuilt with some new synchros. Um, but yeah, that's his little baby. I spoke to him this morning and um, that one's getting picked up later today. But yeah, so hopefully you should be seeing Paul Dove on the track with me and Lee when we go for another track day. So that'll be good. Um, but yeah, got loads of stuff in, loads going on. Got a head just there coming in, that just wants a reface. And we are doing some stem seals on that as well. You see that? Just general stuff. So we've got this. I think it's a CX20E or what is it? A C20XE Vauxhall. I'm going to get on that probably this afternoon or tomorrow. Just get that on a stand, check the bores, check big ends, crank, measure everything, um, see where we need to go. But yeah, that should be interesting. So that's the entire assembly balance now. Got away a bit lightly on the flywheel only really had to drill that hole so that wasn't too bad 
Um, the clutch cover, all of the weight that needed to come out was still in this area, unfortunately. So I've managed to sort of widen a few holes, put two little holes in there, but it's all balanced now um, with only a few extra holes really. A couple of little holes in the front pulley there and that's about it. Bit of a weird one, not really sure why it was so out of balance when it's clearly already been balanced, but there you go. I've checked everything, I checked that this front drive wasn't flapping around, just throwing it off balance. But yeah, that was all fine. It's all balanced now, so ideal. So, um, got the C20XE on the stand here, and I'm gonna strip it down. Obviously, it's just the bottom end. Just gonna check there's no oil in the sump. And then, yeah, see what we find. thanks ever so much for watching guys stay tuned to the next video to see what isaac has come up with on that engine until then i'll enjoy my holiday i'll see you then take care guys